In this video, I'm going to set up a Xiaomi Mi Light Center in Home Assistant to turn on my outdoor lights. So I've got this Xiaomi Mi Light Detection Sensor. Uh, all it does is detect light. So why have I got that? Well, I'm going to put it up there on the wall and then so I can monitor light, ambient light, basically. Uh, so light that's not in the sun, because right now you can see there's sun coming in and out and that wouldn't be the right reading. So somewhere where the sun doesn't hit, but is outside. And I'm going to use that to integrate into Home Assistant with my Combi 2 and then use that to automate my outdoor lights. Now I know Home Assistant has sunset and sunrise times and I do use those currently, but they're not they're just not right for what I want to do because sometimes uh, the ambient light when the sunrise is much brighter, much darker than what it should be. So I'd much rather have a light sensor that gives me the accurate reading of what the light um, you know, is right now and um, so I can use it. So let's have a look at the actual device. It's just a little thing. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. It's Zigbee 3.0, which is what most devices are today. So it's going to be part of my Zigbee mesh network. So this is not a mesh network point as far as I know, but it's just this. Look at this. That's all it is. Tiny, tiny thing, little white thing that sits on the wall out of sight and it just measures light. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to hook it up to Home Assistant and we're going to create some automations for the outdoor lights. So like most of Xiaomi's devices, it comes with a double-sided ring tape thing. Um, the door, not the door sensors, the temperature sensors also have a ring like that. So I used that before. So we'll just put that on. Um, I've cleaned up this area just before, so you didn't have to watch the dirty, dirty wall, but also so that it will stick properly, right? So that's pretty important. So here it is. Uh, it just has a battery on the back, um, which as far as I know is on now. Mm -hmm. And there's a button on top as well, which you can probably see, button on top, which I believe you press to, to pair it like any other Xiaomi device. So I'm just going to install it first. There you go. It's very exciting, I know. I'll pick that up later. Put the little ring thing on here. Make sure it goes around the battery. I have before accidentally covered the battery case. And what it is now, this, is, this sticks so well that I can actually take it off now. Just turn it and you can see the big battery in there. So that's all good. And it's also magnetic, by the way. So if you had a magnetic wall, like a fridge or something, and ready to install. Yay. I'm just going to stick it up here. Make sure I can get to the button on button on top, like that, and there it sits, measuring ambient light. Right, let's have a look and then um, adopt it into a Home Assistant. So in Home Assistant, I'm going to use my Combi 2 Zigbee Hub. There will be a link in the description and up above here for more information on that. I'm going to use Foscon, which is the software that can adopt sensors. Uh, and switches and lights for the Combi 2. So I'm going to add a new sensor and choose other. And then I'm going to push the button on the actual light sensor itself to start the pairing. So I'm holding down the button on the light sensor and a blue light will start flashing on the front of it. And then now it'll show up in just a second once the Zigbee mesh network has picked up that there is a new device. And there it is, the sensor is ready. So you just click ready. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, it is immediately adopted and there is my light sensor. It is that simple. Now it used to be that you would have to add this particular sensor manually, but they have updated the software for the Combi 2. So now it just works off the, you know, right out of the box, which is fantastic. I like renaming my things. So I'm going to give this a name that makes sense, farm light sensor, because this is the light on the farm currently. It says it's currently measuring zero lux and zero degrees. Now the lux is how much light is there and obviously it hasn't uh, registered any light just yet so we'll just give it a second. In the meantime we can go in and have a look at the uh, decons and this is where you can see the actual mesh network. So you can see here's my farm light sensor. It is connected to my pool porch light too. If you're not familiar with Zigbee this is the mesh network. Everything connects to everything. Uh, so lights in particular are mesh endpoints or mesh uh, you know, network points, so you can add anything to a light. So this is a very, very uh, excellent way of creating a Zigbee mesh network is creating a whole bunch of lights. Let's just go back into sensors here. And now there's a lux value, 2315. We just changed that to 1658. So that's how much light is outside. 
I'm just going to restart Home Assistant so that we can get the value of that sensor into Home Assistant. So once it's registered in Decons, I'll restart Home Assistant and it imports anything that's new from Decons. And we can now look at the entity or the device. So if I search for farm here or light, there's the farm light sensor. And here's all the different properties of it. So you can even see the battery level, which is at 100%. So you can create alerts to, you know, when you need to change the battery, etc. I don't mind having battery powered devices in this sense because they only need a new battery every couple of years. I'm going to create an automation to turn on the lights when there is uh, low light outside. So turn on my outside lights. So you can see down here, I currently have turn uh, off and on outside lights at sunrise and sunset. And that's used obviously with the Home Assistant built-in sunrise and sunset. So instead I wanna use the lux value because sometimes it gets lighter earlier or later and darker earlier or later, or even the middle of the day if it's a thunderstorm. So we'll turn the lights on as then, uh, then as well. So we create a new automation, which is called turn on outside lights um, at, uh, at low light, that'll do. And now there are many ways you can create automations. Um, I like using this for explaining things, the, the visual, the UI here, but you can also use YAML or you can use Node Red or whatever you prefer. But So my trigger is my farm light sensor. I'm gonna say when the light is below, I'm just gonna choose a value now. It is not gonna be an accurate value because I'm not sure exactly how much light is low when uh, we're in the position that I've set it. 700 is quite high, but at, at least you can just edit that as time goes on. Um, I want that to be for more than five minutes, so it's not you know false readings or sudden dips, dips in lights or whatever. So we don't turn the lights on and on willy-nilly all the time. So that's the trigger, low light for more than five minutes. And then the action for this is going to be turning on all the outside lights. So I'm going to call a service. And that service is going to be lights.turnon. So if you just search for light, you can see more here. Turn on. And I already have an area set up, which is all of my outdoor lights. So I pick that area. And that's it. You can see though for lights, there are a lot of different things that you can change for automations. RGB colors hue, uh, saturation, brightness, all of those things you can also um, change based on events. So if that's your thing, you can do that. And you can have, oh, low light, we want blue lights. I don't know, whatever it might be. Save that automation and you can, uh, we'll add another one, which is obviously turning the lights off again. So um, turn off lights um, when, uh, what should we say? And when day brightens, yeah. So when the day goes lighter, we want to turn them off as well. So we want to turn them on and off. And it's the same idea, farm light sensor. We want that to be above a certain value. You can see there's also a battery level indicator, so you can create automations based on that. But in this case, we want the illuminance changes. So above 800, which again, is probably not the right value, but for this first automation that'll do, I can always go in and change it. And we're gonna call the service again, same time of thing lights dot turn off and we're going to turn off the outside lights so that's how easy you can create automations with uh, just a simple light sensor and you can turn on and off lights uh, very easy very simple and very effective i think now just one more thing i want to show you is i want to have i like having the values shown so here's all my lights in home assistant and i want to show the actual lux value for the lights so the way you can do this is that you can go in and do it by entity. So find your farm light sensor. So in this case, so I want this graph here. There. So I want to see how the light has changed over the day and I want the value of the light. So I tick that on there, I continue. Home Assistant will suggest a card. In this case, I want the actual uh, history graph card, not the entity card. So I'm going to choose another one, but it's kind of a neat way of limiting. If you have a lot of cards, a lot of different things to choose from, you can limit what works with a particular entity or particular value. Give a new name, ambient light. And uh, that's it. I now have a card on um, in Home Assistant that shows me the, the history of the Lux value for the sensor that I just installed. Look at that. Fantastic. Talking about yourselves.